TMI, bro. But I be shitting. Like, I won't lie, bro. My diet was shit. I fixed that hoe. Now I'm shitting every day. My fault, bro. TMI, TMI, TMI. But like, you know, it might be valuable information to the people watching to know my dietary concerns or dietary uh, details or something like that. Whatever. On to the actual anime. I'm gonna just say this off rip to get out of the way. This is a fire anime. Let me not say fire. It's like a cool low eight, but it's a good show. But it was given the budget of a trash isekai. Like I ain't saying any demon slayer budget, but I'm saying like you could have settled for a double A budget. I'm finna start using that shit like as a game or some triple A. If it's some heavy animated shit, double A. If it's some average shit, and then A. If it's just some isekai shit, and then it's just gonna get called indie if it's CGI, bro. Anyways, actually on the plot, nigga walking home with three of his homies. Don't remember nobody's name, so don't ask me. And then they just get randomly teleported to another world. Obviously, they're fucking special heroes who got summoned to the world to save it from the demon niggas. But it turns out MC isn't, and he just happened to be there while the other niggas got summoned. So he ain't even a hero or nothing. He ain't nothing special. He had accidentally summoned. And niggas thought he was a lost cause until they found out he had healing magic, which is supposed to be rare as shit. Still Stupid off topic, but does anyone in here play Black Desert or Blessed Unleashed or Final Fantasy Online? Hit me up. I need homies on the RPG shit. Back to the anime. This baddie right here finds out he has healing magic, so she recruits the nigga to the team, obviously, because she happens to run her own military group or whatever called like the rescue team or something like that. Honestly, this whole anime is like a long ass training arc. If you really think about it. So basically MC is just separated from the heroes. Heroes doing hero training. He off doing healer training. Anime literally called the wrong way to use healing magic. But low key this is the right way. That was such a corny one liner. But you know what I'm finna say. So the nigga was training right. And then he was using healing magic on himself. To repair his muscles. And to get his stamina back so he could train more. Why did nobody think of that? That's actually a fucking goaded fucking idea whoever came up with that well obviously it was her rose that's the only character i remember in this anime i ain't gonna lie only character's name i mean but that's actually a genius idea please add that to like games and shit but then again you could just get op off of healing builds but then again you have less damage i don't know but bro gets jacked after like a, only a month of training bro he gets a six pack abs that niggas work out for years just to get in like a month anyways after a couple of months of training Rose drags the nigga out and throws him off a cliff. Says, hey nigga, don't come back till you kill a bear. So the next episode or two is just this nigga trying to survive the forest. He makes friends with this rabbit homie. Then he finds the bears he needs to kill. But you know, he kind of got a family so he don't want to do it. But a big ass snake came and killed him anyways. So now MC gotta go kill the snake to get the get backs. Cause you know, he kind of took his prey. He does put up a good ass fight with the snake, but he doesn't win it. But right before he dies, Rose pulls up and saves the nigga because you know, I don't even know why. I mean, she doesn't want to just kill the nigga off, so I guess she would obviously save the nigga. Whatever, train and knock over. Well, forest train and knock over. I won't lie to you, there's a lot of episodes a nigga's not doing much because this is also just a fantasy slice of life. Because, you know, a lot of this is just the nigga training. Not the next season, so. I took a peep at the manga. Shit actually starts picking up after this season. That's a huge problem with anime, though. They be only putting, like, the start of the shit at the first season. I know, niggas gonna be like, duh, niggas, the start of the anime. But I'm saying, they only put, like, training episodes in the startup of the anime. And then just have one minor fucking boss fight. And then end the anime there. That's why we need more 24 episodes. If they're gonna do something like this, please do 24, not 24. 13. It was the same shit with solo leveling, bro. I feel like not enough shit happened. Another example is fucking Classroom with the Elite, bro. Season 3. That shit just felt like they were building up something the whole fucking episode. I mean, the whole series. The whole season, damn. But didn't finish it. Anyways, niggas get informed that they're gonna have to go to war soon. But before that, minor event. MC's walking around town. Then this child walks up on him. It shows him a vision of all his homies dying. And basically says, hey, only you got the chance to change the world or something like that. We also get a backstory on Rose and why she's, you know, like she is now. Basically, all her homies got murdered in a fucking battle. So now she's just like a strict ass leader because she want to make sure 
everybody under her strong. She get wicked, bro. Whatever. Onto the wartime art. Fuck everything else. Niggas is battling this shit. The heroes are obviously here. Why wouldn't they? Then they run into this dark knight. And basically, he just reflects all physical damage. So you know what they do? Attack him with physical damage. So they both kind of get murked off here. They should have died because one of the niggas had a hole through his chest and the other bitch got stabbed in the chest and her neck cut. But nah, she just lives here. Like, bro, look at this nigga. He's literally skewered. But nah, I guess he lives that. Is that plot? Because somehow MC makes it in time and heals both of them up. Anyways, since the Dark Knight reflects all attacks, not even just magic, I'm pretty sure it was all attacks. So MC is just going to use the reverse and use healing attacks, which destroys his armor. He lucky beat his ass for a good minute. Then this bitch pops out the fucking armor. They wouldn't have made her a female unless they intended to add her to the cast, which they did. Long story short, that was kind of just the end of the war arc. It was kind of short now that I think about it. It was an episode. A an episode and a half. No, it was two episodes and a half. But like the whole anime was low key building up to that, and it was that short, bro. What y'all doing for? Real? And after that, the last two episodes were mostly just filler. Just niggas kind of hinting at season two because the anime ends with these niggas going on the trip because they're finna take that uh, little girl from earlier that showed him the vision back to her kingdom because obviously she don't belong here because she's a damn animal. I'm talking about the one with the fox ears or whatever from earlier. Forgot her name. That one right there, the blonde one. Low key, what I said was kind of like off, huh? Don't worry about it, bro. She just a beast.